Oh yeah! First thoughts, I just love the action. So it's got that slightly buoyant uh, deer hair head. And that, what it does is that sinky line pulls it down and then it kind of floats back up. Uh, so the action's totally different than most flies you see nowadays that are weighted, where it actually, you pull it and it goes up and then it sinks back down. The rabbit hole's totally different because you pull it, it goes down and then it slowly rises back up. What I noticed when we fished it was 90% of the time those fish hit it as it was doing that slow rise back up to the top. Um, next thing is the rabbit tail. Just got a crazy good swimming action in the water. Uh, like a snaky wiggle. Um, really fishy looking. Uh, and then lastly that middle portion of the body just bulks it up a little bit. But it's that artificial um, chenille so it wicks water off like nothing. So it's a breeze to cast. And it just fishes so great. Really, really fishy, fishy pattern. Very like a, like a bait fish. Was it easy to follow in the water and see strikes? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, aside from the bright colors, uh, the buoyancy kept it right at the perfect level. The fish were able to see it because it was up high. It wasn't you know too far low, but. It, but at the same time, it was at a good depth, you know, not right at the surface. But the nice thing is you could fish it on a floating line, and it would be just like a diver or, uh, or almost a top water presentation. So very versatile fly. I heard you caught a big fish yesterday. Can you tell us about it? Caught a, one big fish. I caught a few. Pretty sure every fish I caught on there was huge. Um, the first one we caught, that was probably the most exciting because we were sitting, it was a pretty, uh, it was a kind of a lull, we didn't, weren't really sure if we were going to have a good day or not. Probably a couple hundred casts in with nothing to show for it. 
Um, and it was a race against who the hell is going to get the first first fish between me and the pond monster. And I, you know, I had big shoes to fill fishing against him, but I pulled it off. Uh, fish came up, looked at it, turned turned away the second strip uh, on that rise. Like I said, it strip strip pulled it down, started floating back up, and on that rise, that smallie just crushed it. I knew right away it was a it was a horse. Thing had shoulders on it. Just started digging. We were fumbling for the net. At one point, I looked away. I looked back. My rod was just bent, un going under the boat. It was your rod too, so I was afraid I was going to break it. I, not me. I wasn't going to break it, but that fish was. The shoulders on that thing. So, but uh, right before you netted it, it almost jumped the net. I wasn't sure if we were going to get it, but we got it, and it's on video. So I have proof that I outfished the pond monster himself. So that's, that's a big day that. to do that. Oh yeah. I know, I was, I was pumped. I'll be telling that story for years. <laughs> um, what, what was your favorite uh, cadence uh, as far as stripping to fish with that, that, that SA intermediate saltwater sinking fly line? Yeah, it's all about the pause. That's one thing I noticed. Don, he's a big musky fisherman, so he kept that fly moving at all times. I'm all about the small jaws, so letting it sit and uh, float back up to the surface. That's, that was key, hands down. You you mentioned it right away. You even said, slow that, slow that retrieve down, wait on that pause. No doubt that's what did it. Awesome. Um, what did you notice about the, the new leader system you were fishing yesterday? Oh, the leader system is a total game changer. So what I noticed most is that uh, both Don and I were fishing the same fly, but we were fishing different colors. All throughout the day, we were switching colors, and it just made it so quick to be able to go from white to pink to chartreuse to cerise and um, one size fly to the next. It just absolute total game changer being able to uh, switch flies on the fly, pun intended, <laughs> uh, without having to chew through mono and snip bite wire with pliers and just made everything so quick. So absolute game changer. Can you give us your definition or a quick explanation of, of uh, how this leader system works? Um, so uh, it's just your typical leader, but it's got that uh, quick change on the end. It's really small, so it doesn't impede any action at all. Um, you just twist the fly at a certain direction, a 90 degree angle, and it just slides right on, slides right off super quick. But uh, yeah, the main idea is that it's it's so small that it doesn't impede any action. You get that get that rabbit tail moving and that deer hair, you know, rising up.